Surface tension is nothing but the force acting per unit length. Force acting per unit area na pressure. So, your free surface of the liquid is back. How do you act? That is the surface tension. How do you act? You know, the free surface of the liquid layer it tries to occupy the minimum area it has. That is why the free surface is a stretched elastic membrane. It is elastic. Why? Because all the molecules on the free surface of this liquid layer will try to occupy the minimum area to make it stable. The universal tendency for all the things to be in a stable position. If you have a stable position, you can have a potential energy as a minimum. And the property of this liquid layers, the free surface area of a liquid layers will try to occupy the minimum area or it will be acting as a stretched elastic membrane. That property we call it as a surface tension. So how to define the surface tension? It is given by the formula S is equal to surface tension symbol as T. T is equal to force acting unit length. On a unit length we call it as a surface tension. This is a molecular theory which you can define and you can explain the surface tension. You can take a fluid or a liquid in a beaker. In the liquid we will take two molecules. One interior. One molecule full of interior. And another molecule which is on the surface of the liquid. One molecule where you are? I have taken a molecule. I have chosen a molecule. One on the surface, on the free surface of the liquid layer and one interior. In the molecule, you can see in the neighboring molecules, all of them will force exert. It will also exert force on the neighboring molecules. So, from all the sides, what do you think? Force will come out. Net force will come out. Cancel. So, it will be stable. So, all of them will exert force on the molecules. So, it will be stable inside the molecule. Net force is zero. But, if you take this molecules, if all of them will exert force from all the directions, it is going to exert. It will also exhibit. Rende meh ruko. Apa aduk net force zero wayro. Yepa, oru molecule interior ayar endu dina. Arame free surface layer kuna molecule pati na. In the inward, ulpak kama ayar kuna all molecules, so they will apply force. They will going to attract it. Apni attract panno liya. Inside ayar kuna all molecules, so they will exert force. It will also exert force. In the all molecules, so adu endu attract panno modu. Greater amount of force when it will be acting in the downward direction than in the upward direction. Maybe in the region la veli pakkam arukka. So there will be no attractive force. So here all the molecules which are on the free surface. In the free surface la yella molecule ukkoon or net downward force kadikkoon. So net downward force kadikkoon. Yella molecule ull pakkam aadhu yelukkuna maari or force kadikkoon na. It will try to occupy the minimum area. Apde free ya arukkam di aadhu. And the force yelutthi tte arukkum odhu. Adhe epdi arukkoon or elastic membrane maari act pannu. That property of the free surface we call it as a surface tension. Other than a minus we call surface tension. So surface tension is nothing but the force acting on this unit length T is equal to F by L. F under the kinna Newton units will Newton power meter and this dimension formula is m t power minus 2. Keep the one m t power minus 2. Force kinna dimension formula m l t power minus 2. Length k l l l cancel it. Me the inner k m t power minus 2. This is how we can do it. Formula is done by heart. Unit is done by heart. Formula is done by heart. This is unit. This is dimension formula. Mt power minus 2. So this is the way how we are going to define this surface tension. Molecular theory is based on this. Surface tension. Now we are going to explain this surface tension. Then we will 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 explain this surface tension. Particular phenomena pati na, very interesting phenomena is the capillary rise in mangga, capillarity in mangga. In the liquid la, you take a water in a beaker and another beaker la, mercury adu tuko, inga water. You just insert a or capillary tube. Rende dalam ek capillary tube insert. Lea, in the capillary tube la, we know that. Capillary rise into the end and now, it will force act on only, you can force apply on you, you can apply on external air molecules, force apply on you, you can vacuum on you, so this water tries to get in. So, you can go to the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the bottom. This is the water surface. This is the bottom of the bottom of the bottom. This is the capillary tube. If you dip the mercury, if you dip the mercury, here also, the mercury rises inside the capillary tube. But see the amount, how much it has raised. 
So, if you put water in a tube, it has raised water has raised into the tube up to this much level. This is the free surface. No, this is water. But if you put water in a tube, this is the free surface. This is the free surface. But if you put water in a tube, it has raised water. It has raised water. It has raised water. It has raised water. Isn't it? Now, let's see. Now, let's see. Now, let's see. Now, let's see. Isn't it? So, the two capillary process. This property we call it as a capillary. But here, this we call it as a capillary rise. It has raised free surface. That is capillary rise. This is capillary fall. This phenomenon is capillarity. Surface tension is a particular phenomenon or interesting phenomenon of surface tension is your capillarity. Now we will see how will be this capillarity, how to find out this surface tension by capillary rise method. In the capillary rise method, we will see how to find out this surface tension. What method is capillary rise method? This is 10 mark question. 